Hello everybody, I want to talk a little bit about graphical feasibility. Uh, in this case, infeasibility. What I mean by that is, we have a lot of data here um, across this thing, but it's skewed, right? So um, we have all this data here that is really mitigating or making this chart look less useful. So instead of just printing this chart off or displaying this chart because you have all the data, this is one of those things where just because you have the data doesn't mean you have the right data, or just because you have the data doesn't mean you use all the data. So what I mean by that is, let's say we have these product categories, doesn't really matter, and we have these values over here, doesn't really matter. If, if you want to think of it in terms of dollars, fine. But we have a couple of issues with this chart. Um, first of all, the chart title is horrible. Um, but even so, look at this here. Even if this was a good chart title, such as, say, let's just do it this way. Sales dollars by, by product. I mean, it's not the best chart title, but the thing I want you to see here is that capital A in there. I've seen people do that. Like, even if your chart title is the perfect thing in the world, if you have misspellings or grammar or just mechanical issues like that, it's really distracting the audience. And they start to question whether you really know your stuff. And you never want that situation to occur where people are distracted by your messaging. Okay? You're in that room as a subject matter expert, and you shouldn't have minor details like that derail or torpedo your presentation. Now, the other thing is we don't have any you know, legends or axes, uh, labels, or anything like that. So you would want to do that. You would want to add those things. And one way you do that is obviously simply doing a format or a quick layout, you know, something to those lines. Now, be careful because if you do a layout like this, now it's crushing the numbers a little bit more because you're adding it over here. Um, and we already have that problem right here where it's already, you know, crushing everything, making it harder to read. So you might want to do a layout where it's on the bottom. So now you have better information and it would go left to right. The other thing is never, ever submit series one as your label name. Do your homework, do a better job, figure out how to better do that. Um, label it properly. Don't do series one. That's just tacky. It shows inexperience or laziness, unprofessionalism. Uh, the other thing, the, the point of this um, and you can also do like add, add data labels, right? Um, the values that can be useful. But if you ever do something where you have all these decimals, you know, please, please, please don't produce a million decimals on your chart. It's just sloppy. It's not useful, especially in a situation where you have all these columns or, or candlesticks, as I call them. But the real thing I wanted to talk to you about right now is the fact that these are useless. Okay. So what you should do in most circumstances is simply get rid of them. And now you have a better chart here, better way to look at things, and it's just more useful for you. Now, what you could do is then denote it. I don't know if you know this, but you can go up here and insert a text box. You can insert a text box right into your chart and say, you know, note does not, inc not include categories A through E, whatever, whatever nomenclature your company uses. And you can move that text box around you know, up here or down there, you can resize it, <clears throat> you know, something to that effect. You know, you can really clean that up. Heck, you can even put a border around it. Yeah, you, know, you can go really wild with this, okay? So very important to, to think about those things um, as well. Now, what you might want to do then is, <clears throat> say, make two charts out of this stuff. So now we've got this one chart. You can literally just copy it. But this time, I'm just going to move all of my references up to here. So now I've got a chart of this one, but now I want to say it does not include category F through Q. I spell that correct. Okay. So now I've made two charts, <clears throat> and I might want to put a new title up here instead of just the denote, especially if I'm going to produce two charts, because your audience can start to get confused if they have two charts of the same style and title. So I might want to put, <clears throat> you know, you know, F, change the title. Whoops. F through through Q, or, you know, A through E. That's probably what I would want to do there. And do the same over there, put F through Q, so that your audience can have a clearer picture of what it is you're looking at. 